Good evening. What's good, everyone? It's Chambers from ChambersMixedIt.com, and today we're going to be doing a different type of video. Today we're going to be trying to blend classical music with drill music. It's like people people don't understand how crazy you can go with orchestra music and put drill with it. Go, mm. So uh, stay tuned because we're about to make some. Oh! All right, so we're in Cubase today. I got this, this string sound loaded up. It's staccato strings, meaning that they're like short. So like staccato means instead of... You know, like it's short, it's chopped up. Instead of a string that just holds for the whole song, you know what I mean? I'm gonna head into the piano roll, right? And first thing I wanna do is put the grid on one third beat, right? There's four quarter notes or four beats in one bar. So for every single beat, we're gonna have three notes. It's triplets, so it's gonna sound like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. We're gonna start at C, why not? I like C minor. And we're gonna build out a C minor chord. Actually, let's go down an octave. But I'm not gonna play it as a chord, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna arpeggiate it, which pretty much just means to break it down like this, you know. Play it as single notes instead of a chord. But pretty much I'm gonna invert it and and change the direction of it. So as we start at the top, to the middle, to the bottom. I'm gonna hit Control A and shorten it even more, so it's even shorter notes. I really want it to be like like stabs. Like I'm gonna hit Control and drag, hold Shift, that will duplicate it over. Now I'm gonna change this chord up. I'm gonna make it more dark of a minor chord. And pretty much what you can do is I'll take this. Drop it down a semitone. A semitone is just going down one note. I'm gonna take this, this G, and drop it down two semitones to the F. So we're gonna go down two notes, two semitones, just like that. The best way to create like tension and like darkness and like a beat is when you have notes close together because they create tension. So look at the difference here. This is a half step, right? The notes it goes from the D to the D sharp. And when you do that in a minor chord, like look at this. See that? We're going from this note down to this note. Literally just down a semitone, that's down a half step. That's how you create tension in your chords. You bring the notes close together. So you're just going up or down a semitone. So that's pretty much what I'm doing over here, except I'm also moving the F down from the G. Now with that same idea of tension, I'm gonna copy this chord over, drag it out. This time, I'm gonna put this down a semitone and I'm gonna put this up a semitone. It's more intense now. Like now it sounds like, Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know what. And then I'm gonna end it with just the normal C minor triad, like that. It has that that intensity to it, you know? It's like, it's like, what's about to happen? All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Control A, then I'm gonna hit Control B. So now we got two bars of the low octave strings. Actually, I'm gonna make it four bars. Boom, just like that. I'm gonna hit Clone. This time I'm gonna go up an octave. And that's just a great way to create contrast when you're structuring out the beat. Like you got low octaves, high octaves, whatever. Come over here, right click on the patterns and hit quick render as audio clip. That will turn your MIDI into audio that you could work with in the playlist. So I just drag it in like that. Pattern one is the low, pattern two is the high. So it's like this now. Cut the excess. And I'll just label it strings low, strings Hi, I can't even spell. Control S, make sure you save your projects. Next instrument I'm gonna add is a piano. I'm gonna put it back on one half beat because we don't gotta do the, the third step thing anymore. C is our root note, right? Because that's what we built the chord off of. I'm gonna lower the velocity of the piano. Lower the octave too, so it sounds dark. And do an octave of it, so it's like really thick now. Drag it out. Pretty much what I did was I took the strings, the pattern that was arpeggiated, and I just put it together as chords right there. Nothing crazy, just literally what we just did. And then we have the bottom note to add emphasis on it. Actually, I'm gonna start it. Start it low because then once we hit the high strings, we're gonna wanna have it in another octave. So let's make this pattern unique. All right, and let's add this up an octave. So there we go. And then of course you gotta make them four bars. So. Just extend it like that. There you go. And also when we add like the crazy 808 for the drill beat, you don't want it to clash with the piano. So let's drop the low end right here. Go over to these patterns, right click, hit quick render as an audio clip. We're gonna drag these in just like that. We're gonna do piano low and then you wanna do piano high. 
So they walk into the pool. Hold on, I forgot I'm from New York. We gotta we gotta get something. How am I supposed to do drill music without this, man? Alright, so now we ready. Alright, let's get it. So what you wanna add next, right? I'm gonna start talking. <laughs> I'm gonna start talking in New York. You wanna get some more strings? Alright. See what you don't understand. Actually, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. We don't put it. It's it's just gonna watch over us while we make the beat. I'm gonna get it when the time is right. Now this time, right? I'm gonna copy this pattern. Control A, Control C, Control. No, add a pattern, then control V. This time I got some different type strings on me. These are the strings that go like, you know, they're not they're not short. They go. But I'm gonna make it short. And it's gonna sound different from the other strings because this is a different type of violin sound. And it's a chord. We're not playing just one note arpeggiated. We're playing the full chord now. So that's more of a background thing, but still, like, it's going to add some emphasis to it. And over here, you want to make it unique, right? Boom, boom. Go up an octave. Wonder that is an audio clip. I'm going to call it string chords because it's, it's chords, right? Put all the sounds in the mixer. I might actually try halftime on it. You heard that? I just lit a match at halftime. It said, no. shh, shh. Wait, what if, what if I talk in halftime? Could I talk at halftime? Let me see. What? That was not an advertisement. What are you talking about? So I'm going to bust these to a track, all the instruments, so we could halftime them all together just like that. Also, if you don't have the halftime plugin, you could just go into Rose Beat. You want to go to momentary and you want to hit half speed same thing thing is when you add halftime it, it makes it really low i think i burnt my thumb man i've been laying that match way too much <laughs> i'm saying halftime might add some lowest so let's add 40 parametric eq2 and just cut out the lows that it adds just look at that you want that to clash with the 808 no but that's for later so i'm gonna turn the halftime off for now and let's get into the drums for the drums i'm gonna be using my drill essentials drum kit it's available at chambersmixedit.com slash sound kits i'll leave a link in the description and in the comment section for you and pretty much this is just the best sounds to use in drill music we got 808s claps hi-hats kicks perks snares and extras anything that you need but yeah let's just get right into it 808 I'm gonna add a snare, get one of these things, hi-hats, we'll grab a perk sound, we'll grab one of the extras. Okay, so I got all my drum sounds here and everything is already mixed, so like you're already ready to go. So first things first with the 808, what you wanna do is go into the envelope tab and you wanna put the attack down, put the hold up, put the decay down, put the sustain down, put the release down, cause you wanna be able to hold the 808, especially in drill music for however long you want. That allows like that start stop thing that a lot of people do with drill. So make sure that you do that. Simple enough with the 808, there's no chord changes. So we're just gonna be staying with C minor. Actually, let me do the let me do the snare first, just so we have a better idea of when we're doing the 808. So if you're doing drill music, like it's never it's never like this. That's how you get fired. Do not do not put the, do not put the snare here. All right, you gotta move it over like that. You can do it in different ways, but like for the most part, it's not really there. Add this pattern again. And then for the last pattern, right, the wrap up, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm put the snare there. Man. Ooh. All right, now we're ready for the 808. Add a pattern. Add a pattern. We're gonna go to the piano roll. Root note is C. I want it to stop once the snare hits. So we're gonna stop it right there. So that's what I'm talking about with that. So we're gonna shorten that. I'm gonna just solo the piano too. Now it's time for the eight away slides. I'm gonna go up an octave on the C, double click it. You wanna hit this, this triangle looking wave thing, hit accept. That's how you do an eight away slide. So that part's pretty simple. It's just the first pattern. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. The second pattern, I'm gonna drag this out, make it unique. Now we're about to go crazy a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in here, shorten that, just so it's like, da -da. do some random slides. Oh 
always important. Like I want to have these two just normal C notes at the end, so I could layer it with a bunch of other stuff. So that's the 808 pattern so far. I'm gonna turn the 808 pattern off for now. Let's do the second snare. This is gonna act like percussion sort of. I'm gonna do the pattern like this. Except you gotta zoom in and you really gotta go crazy with the velocity. So like, you want, it, you want it to go like up and down all over the place. That's how you add like more movement and more power to the beat. When it's instead of the same velocity hitting over and over again, you're just used to that same volume. You gotta change it up like this. That's what makes drill like so explosive sounding. I might even pan them too. So go into the pan thing right here, change that up. So not only is the volume changing in your ears, you're also hearing it go left and right. It's an experience, you know? It's not just a beat. This is an experience. I'm gonna copy that pattern, make it unique. We're gonna change this one up. Again, with the velocities and the panning too. Just keeping it interesting. Copy that over. Now we're gonna do a very similar pattern with the hi-hat for that too. Mess around with the velocity with the hi-hats too. I don't think I'm gonna pan the hi-hats unless we're doing hi-hat rolls. So we'll get to that in a second, but copy that over, make it unique. Let's do a different pattern here. There we go. We just added a few notes here and there just to change it up. We're going to come back in here and just add like some random rolls and low notes in. Make sure that they're at a low velocity though. Just random spots, right? What I'm doing there is just making the velocity go down. So it starts at a high volume, ends up at a low volume. Also going to pan it out. That's how you make your hi-hats more interesting. Go into sixth step with the paintbrush tool. Maybe I'll go right here. Have the notes go down, up the velocity, change the panning. Go into the next pattern, do the same thing. You can have the hi hat go up or down, like in the main pattern. And then, really, here at the end, you want to go crazy with it because it's like you're wrapping up the beat. It's the last bar. Make sure it's at a good velocity. And then of course going with the panning and just go ridiculous with it, honestly. You could be very light with the percussion sound because the high ass and like that the other snare like perk sound is already filling it up. So I'm gonna add an open hi-hat too. Just like that. Then the effects symbol right here. And then over at the end, put the attack down, put the hold up, put everything else down. So this way you can hold the symbols symbols out for however long you want. Mode a half beat, drag them out. Just one of these, what the, boom, just like that. So it's, it like chops up, right? Now we're gonna do the kick to match the 808. Shh, what? A word? He's talking to me. He said, I mean, he's not wrong. Did you just hear that kick? It, it is New York time now. All right, let's get it. We're going to make this unique. Boom. Copy that over. Mm-hmm. That little that little bump bump. That's that's hard. Add a new pattern. Alright, we're gonna go right here. Now we're gonna do my signature four count. Just go stupid with it. Alright, like all right, now the moment we all been waiting for, right? I'm gonna bring all the instruments back. I'm gonna also take this whole shift, drag it out, go into our bus right here. I'm gonna right click on the halftime mix level, create automation clip. So we can turn the halftime on and off when we want. Halfway through, I'm gonna turn it on, just like that. And also the last thing, 
I'm going to take the, the 808 back and the kick back by two bars in the beginning. So this is what happened when you take Beethoven and Pop Smoke and put it together. Damn, my camera just ran out of space on it. But thank you all for watching. That's classical music with drill music combined. Make sure you go get the Drill Essentials drum kit, bro. That's the hardest drums. You just heard it here. All the 808s, kicks, snares, perks, hi hats, FX, whatever you got. It's in that pretty. It's only like $15. So that's available at chambersmixedit.com slash sound kits. I'm gonna leave a link in the comment section and the description for you. So go check that out. But yeah, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you want to see though. All right, peace.